Welcome to Rocks 3D Studio. In this video, we're going to go over how to add and animate uh, image overlays on your video clips. So let's go ahead and get started. Adding an image over your video clips is easy. Um, once you have your video clip imported and all ready to go, just navigate to where you have your image alpha and just drag that into the sequencer. And you can see that it had stretched the uh, image to fit the video ratio and we can fix this easily um, but if you did not want that to occur in the first place uh, just make sure that your the ratio of your overlay image is the same as your video and that way you can just avoid this next step that we have to do here uh, first I'm going to zoom in so we can see the image block a little bit better with the uh, image block selected, make sure that this is set to alpha over. With an image, that's normally going to be the case by default, but just in, if it's not, just open up the drop down and choose alpha over. To resize this, we're going to go ahead and add a, a transform effect strip over this uh, image block. Just click add and then to, under effect strip, click uh, transform. And now we can resize this the way we want. First, in the compositing tab, change this to alpha over. And let's uh, first get the uh, image down to the size that we uh, want for our animation. Just click Uniform Scale, and so we can just do this in one shot here. And let's just say we want it that big. I'm going to uncheck Uniform Scale and it kind of resets the Y, but at least we're down to the size that we want. And just uh, adjust the Y value a little bit. And it looks like that'll work. Let's first uh, set our uh, range for our image animation. I'm gonna drag this uh, handle on the image object to about three seconds, be 180 frames, I believe. Yep, we're at 60 frames a second, so I'm gonna drag that out to 180. So that will play for three seconds. And let's just have this come, the image come up from, off the screen from the bottom into the center. Uh, we'll have it rotate 360 degrees and then move off through the top of the uh, video. So first we want to make sure that we have our uh, preview frame starting at the beginning of where we want to begin the animation and that is going to be frame one in this case. I want to select the transform strip so we can start adjusting where this image position starts and I'm going to start the Y position off the screen. So I'm going to click and drag this just until we come off the screen there or off the preview frame. Let me drag this down so we have a little bit bigger view to work with here. With that uh, positioned where we want it, I'm going to press I over this value. And that sets the keyframe for the beginning of the animation. Let's have it take, uh, we can just split this into three seconds. So after one second, it will reach the center. So I'm going to set that at 60 frames. I'm going to move this back up here to the center. I'm going to press I to set a keyframe there. And then we want to have it rotate in a 360 degrees. So under the rotation, we can start it at zero there. Actually, let's bring this back so it starts to turn. Let's see, we had it at 60. Let's start at 10 frames back at frame 50. And we'll press I to insert a keyframe to start the rotation there. And 
and then it's going to ro uh, we're going to have the rotation happen for one second so from 50 to 110 frames I'm going to put 360 into the rotation here and then set a keyframe. So let's move this back up to 120 where we had the animation stop. And let's move this to 120 and we'll begin to move the image off of the screen. So the position is fine at that frame. So I'm going to just press I to set the keyframe there and let's go to 180. And let's move this off the screen here vertically and press I to set a keyframe there. And I probably should have turned off the notifications on my phone. So let's go ahead and see how this plays out. I'm going to go back to the beginning and press play. And that looks to have played out pretty good. Kind of choppy, but I'm not doing anything with the acceleration of the image. It's just straight up keyframes. And let's go ahead and uh, add a fade in and fade out effect. So with this set at frame one and the transform strip selected, over here under the compositing and opacity, I'm going to turn that down to zero, press I, and then let's bring this Let's see, that was, we had 60 seconds for one frame to bring it to the center, so let's do a third of that, 20 frames, and see how that looks. Uh, so at 20 frames, go over here to the opacity, crank that up to 1, and that's going to be too soon, so I'm going to crank that back down to 0 there. Um, let's bring it up to 30. Now let's change that to 1 and then press I to insert a keyframe there. Let's go back to the beginning and see how that looks. Not too bad. The effect's really subtle though. And you could also do that at the uh, end of the animation as well. It's just one of those things you got to just mess around with it and tweak it to your liking. That's pretty much all there is to adding an image overlay to your uh, video clips. And, and you can have as many um, image overlays as you want over the, over the video clip. It's just going to add each image to a new track. And keep in mind that any, um, any images that you do add, let me duplicate this and bring it up here. And let me change the position of this so we can get a sense of um, what I mean when I say that any uh, images you have loaded in are going to be layered on top of the other. So just keep that in mind when you have one image over another. It's actually is over that other and it's going to show up like this. And that's pretty much all there is to uh, adding an image overlay on your video clips. Uh, next time, we're going to actually start creating a uh, animation that we will then render out and add as an overlay onto our video clip. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll be seeing you. Goodbye.